tension rises. Eyes light up and stare at you from the dark. The killer vibe is already in the air. Other hunters will challenge you. The audience just entered the venue. 50 minutes, we will start the show. Tonight we unleash the beast. Who strikes first? Wins. Finally, man, it's happening. The premiere of our new show. It all comes together after one year of hard work. Sensation is a show like no other. Of course, a couple of core values, everybody dressing in white, great DJs, a state-of-the-art technology show, latest lasers, pyrotechnics, fountains, crazy amount of uh, LED bracelets. It's gonna be a great show. Into the Wild is, is based on our primal instincts. The concept jungle is a metaphor for a good night of clubbing in town. The club is the jungle. And that nice girl you see walking, or nice boy, is the prey. It takes a lot of effort to uh, transform the Amsterdam Arena into the biggest club on earth, uh, the Into the Wild Club. We're working for 10 days with 300 people almost around the clock to get everything done for Saturday. And at Saturday there will be uh, working 600 people, facilitate uh, the drinks, the techniques, everything to uh, create the atmosphere for the perfect party. This is a little bit different from the EDM because I've been all my life, the 35 years that I've been in the business, I've been touring with you know rock and roll bands and I've been into the Amsterdam Arena a few times with U2, The Stones. You know, the Sensation Show is a show that's primarily in the around of the arena and, and it scopes 360. Unless you're U2 with a stadium show, the stage is normally on one end. But U2, we had a 360, we sold all the way around. And of course, it's, it's non-stop energy for 11 hours and we don't get that in a rock and roll show, it's like we plan all our efforts for about two and a half hours for the main act to play two to two and a half. So you, 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 everybody's here is it's full on for a, a, a 10 to 11 hours. That's the little difference. We divided the show in five parts. The first DJ represents the awakening of the night creatures. It gets dark and we go out. The second part is the hunting begins. You looking for that nice girl or boy. And the third part of the night is catch your prey. You found your prey, now you have to catch it. The fourth part is you caught your prey and you want to get loose on your prey. So that's let the beast out. And the fifth part of the night is the taste of victory. And that's translated into this show, Into the Wild. Dancers this year are more actresses than aerial performers or uh, acrobats this year. They perform and they create the atmosphere of uh, the wilderness because this theme of this year is uh, the wilderness and the beast of the night. So they are going to be the beasts of the party and they create the atmosphere. We have 
some very, very uh, sexy girls, but they're going to be tough as well. So they will look sexy, but they will uh, move roughly and they will act very strong in their faces and body. There are uh, 12 dancers and 40,000 people, so they will have to make it big. They will have to be very intense. They have to dance. They have to bring the atmosphere in the crowd. They have to deal with water. They have to deal with fire. They have to deal with confetti and a lot of stuff. They have to deal with the stage and with the shoes. So there's a lot they have to think about, but um, yeah, I think it's going to be great. The first time I was uh, connected to uh, the snake, that was in January and they have worked with it with 14 people, day in, day out, day in, day out. For what I know, it's 8,000 square meters of fabric, 350 meters of length inflatable. Snake One can be put in the Guinness Book of Records of the biggest inflatable ever made in one piece. When you're standing on the deck somewhere and the show begins and the audience uh, go crazy, that's a really good feeling because that's what it works for. So we are using this special lights called Bass Boys and Bad Boys uh, for the reason that we do a lot of projection on the snake and you must think of making water, making fire, but it is also very necessary that it also looks real. You know, so uh, normally a light is not, it's just a light and this is not just a light, it's, it's making more than, it looks like video, but this, we do it with lighting and that's very special of this fixture. So essentially what you see here is the video controls for the Sensation Into the Wild show and um, video is made up of pixels and in this array all the pixels are on strings like you see there. What you see here in the bottom left corner is essentially a 2D video but what we do we project it onto this massive array of the LED strings you see in the roof. That's a common technique but a video is always a, a 2D surface and we push the video into 3D and we can rotate it. Up make precision from top to bottom, from left to right, all through the LED system in the air. What we do here, what is really new for lasers, is that we have lasers which are hanging on the trusses and they are going to project the laser output vertically. Normally approaches like this that we have lasers mostly on stage and they project horizontally. This time they are going to be from top to the bottom and that allows us to create a bit different experience of the laser. People will be in the cones of lasers, they can touch them, they can interact with them, not only look at them. Sensation will use light bracelet this year to create a unique light experience. Every visitor will receive an embracelet at the entrance uh, which contains LED lights. These are full color RGB lights uh, in which you can make 16.7 million different colors. It's the first time uh, ever in the world this, this has been done. So what we do actually is we know where every bracelet is in the arena and we can control every bracelet separately. You can create unique effects. So for example, we can, uh, we can create a, a pink uh, glow over all the females and start blinking fast all the males. This year we use more pyro than ever in uh, Sensation. It's more cues, they're closer together, the sequences are faster, um, and the time we shoot it is even more condensed than we used to do. One of my favorites always is the CO2. It cools down the party, it's a lot of noise spitting out CO2. Uh, we've got 40 CO2 jets coming out of the catwalks. Uh, it will look great.
Sensation is one of the biggest events, dance events in Holland. And what we try to do is that we have to capture the essence of the event in motion picture, basically. It's been used for television, for YouTube, for all the post-event content you will see. And that's why we need to shoot the premiere of the show, which is here tonight in Amsterdam. We shoot that with about 20 cameras, of which 16 are epic red cameras. Those are digital cinema cameras that really, you know, for us can capture the event the way we think we can you know, bring it across. It's really about emotion, it's about being sensual. We want to see people really enjoying themselves. We've got a shitload of cameras, we've got cranes, we've got the cable cam, we've got moving dollies, we've got everything to make sure that we can capture sensation into the wild perfectly. We create an atmosphere at Sensation that the DJ can perform at his best. That eventually, of course, the crowd gets the best experience as well and go home with a smile. When an artist arrives, get picked up by a driver from the hotel, of course, and they arrive here. And then usually there are lots of interviews for the artist. And then I bring the DJ to the stage. That's the most important moment for an artist, but also for me, of course, in my job to see that the artist has a great time. Creating a lineup for Sensation is always a, a big puzzle because it's one area for a lot of people and it's, I think, really important that the music is built up in the correct way on the night. So we start with house, we switch over to tech house, it becomes a little bit more big room tribalish, and at the end it's full force big room party music. And in that way, we think uh, the night has the right build-up and the right ending. For me, that was definitely the best sensation I've done. It was a special moment. The show, the, everything was so overwhelming. The lights, I'm still like, what happened? Shout out to the production from IDNT, everything, big salute. There's so much work into this party. It's the whole package that, that makes you have an unforgettable, unforgettable night, basically, yeah. I've been looking forward to this moment for so, so long, and I've been dreaming of this moment for so long. I think I'm the happiest person on earth right now. She's scale of it, I think you kind of have to pinch yourself and think, hang on a minute, how many people am I playing to here? It's, it's, it's crazy and uh, yeah, I loved it, absolutely loved it. It's Sensation, the worldwide premiere of Into the Wild, sold out venue, 45,000 people, 90,000 hands in the air, MCG, look forward to seeing you there. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle.